The Collegian News is brought to you in part by. The University of Texas at Brownsville will host an all majors job fair from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesday, September 26, in the Student Union Grand Salon. Dress in business attire and be ready for an interview at a moment's notice. For more information, visit utb.edu slash career. Students, nominate a student leader for the Scorpion Leadership Ring. Two students will be chosen based on their academic performance, leadership at UTB and TSC, and service to their community. Apply online at www.ring.utb.edu by 4 p.m. Friday, September 28th. Stay connected with UTB Mobile. Download the UTB application now. Visit utb.edu slash mobile. Welcome to the Collision News. I'm Marlene Rodriguez. And I'm Corey Aiken, bringing you this week's top stories. The Texas Southmost College Board of Trustees met last Thursday. Here's Gabby Cavazos with the details. The Board of Trustees has voted to approve an amendment to a contract for information technology outsourcing services and a contract for electronic textbooks. Earlier this year, trustees approved an $800,000 contract with Dynamic Campus for phase one of the services. Now the college wants to add services to the contract so it can be ready to begin registering students for fall 2013 classes. We have a very aggressive timeline. You know, we have to have student record information and web services available so um, students can start enrolling in the spring and so all these services need to be up and running. Lewis said the amendment to the contract is for outsourcing the implementation of the enterprise research planning system, the business intelligence solutions, database administration, network managing, voiceover IP services and user support services among others. Uh, the amendment would begin January 1st and would run through August 31st which is the end of this uh, uh, fiscal 2013. Uh, that increment amount would be two million $42,856. Uh, for fiscal year 2014, the amount would be $3,568,944. And for 2015, it would be $3,824,616. Herrera Alani said students will receive immediate digital delivery of textbooks. Faculty and staff training on all content and verbals and systems that we're providing. That's for what the institution does. What does the student get? The student gets digital delivery of textbooks from day one. The day the student enters their class, they will have their materials already. They don't have to go to a bookstore to purchase materials. They will not have to reach out anywhere. They're gonna have access to their materials on day one. For the Collegian News, I'm Gabby Cavazos. The Brownsville City Commission voted last week to levy a property tax for fiscal year 2013. It is the same tax rate as this year's. Collegian editor Joe Molina has the story. So, by law, this is a motion that must be made by either one of you. The motion was voiced out loud by Commissioner at Large B, Rose Gowan, on September 17 during the Commissioner's regular meeting. Okay, I move that the property tax rate be increased by the adoption of a tax rate of 0.700613 cents, which is effectively a 1.59% increase in the tax rate. The commission voted unanimously to adopt the recommended ad valorem tax rate, which is the same rate as in current years. Brownsville Mayor Tony Martinez said that although the motion's wording is confusing, the fact of the matter remained. The public needs to know that there is no increase in the tax rate. The tax rate is the same. Okay. But by law, we need to... You need to have a motion that says... That says this. Okay. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess that that's what the law is. The commission also voted unanimously to adopt an $88.2 million budget for fiscal year 2013, but not before District 1 Commissioner Ricardo Longoria Jr. questioned the necessity for creating the position of an assistant to the commissioners and the mayor upon final review of the budget. I've always been under the belief that the liaison to the city commission is the city manager and its attorney. Mayor Martinez explained that in order to keep the city of Brownsville up with the times, an assistant staff member is in order. Uh, so I think it's important that the city commission all get involved as well as the mayor and have the ability to have a staff person that was able to provide us with information when we need it. Uh, for the Collegian News, I'm Joe Molina. Nine students are running for five positions in the SGA Freshman Senate elections this week. 
Here is Collision News correspondent Magali Rosales with the details. Nine freshmen are vying for five positions in the Student Government Association's Freshman Senate. The election began on Blackboard at 8 a.m. today and will end at 4 p.m. Tuesday. The candidates are Rafael A. Chico, George A. Garcia, Christian Gonzalez, Kimberly Guajardo, Jessica Guzman, Deborah Herrera, Elizabeth Hurtado, Jacqueline Lee, and Virginia Salceda. In other SGA news, the Senate passed two resolutions to help fund upcoming events. Resolution number five sets aside $300 for the Rogue the Vote event sponsored by Student Life. The money will be used to pay for food and other items. All those in favor of passing resolution number five as stated, please say aye. aye. All those who oppose, all those who abstain, resolution number five passes. The event will take place October 3rd on the Student Union lawn. In resolution number six, the SGA authorized to spend no more than $550 to host the Winter Bash. The group will collect toys and blankets for the needy during the holiday season. The next SGA meeting will be held at 8 a.m. Tuesday in Student Union 2.16. For the Collegian News, I'm Magali Rosales. Surviving college can be difficult. The Collegian wants to give you the best tips on how to do so. Here's my co-anchor, Marlene Rodriguez with advice on peer pressure. Students have been told since elementary school to say no to drugs. However, with drug and alcohol abuse being common among college students, they might not have listened. Student Health Services Director Eugenia Curet said a 2001 study showed that colleges across the nation suffer from students engaging in drug and alcohol abuse. Alcohol and, um, alcohol and drug abuse is a problem among college students. Part of the problem, too, is that um, come from peer pressure. Students should stay away from alcohol and drug abuse because they are addictive and can put their and others' lives at risk. Well, it's not only the social impact on the student's ability to function, you know, well, but it also affects drugs and alcohol, affects the functioning of the brain, affects the way in which students can make reasonable um, uh, decisions. It can impair their ability to perform in school and to cope, uh, you know, with all the demands that college life presents. Although Student Health Services does not offer rehabilitation services yet, Gudet said there is counseling available for students. Chi Alpha Christian Fellowship, a student organization on campus, also offers support for students dealing with peer pressure. I intend them to do is to be able to find a group of people, friends, that will be, be there to support you. Um, being able to, when you're going through this peer pressure in life, being able to find someone to talk to, to be able to be, able to be there for. It, it is important that sometimes uh, we need to be able to be around people that are positive, that have a positive attitude, and going to help you be secure of who you, secure of yourselves, help you grow as a person. As a former member of the organization, Hernandez said the group made an impact in her life and exists to help students with education, encouragement, and faith. It's a support group. We are there to be able to help you that in those hard times that you're going through, that we can be able to pray with you, to be able to share God's word, which are the promises that we can be able to help you believe and grow in God's promises, which are in His Word. Organization meets at 1 p.m. every Friday in the Student Union Salon Gardenia. For the Collegian News, I'm Marlene Rodriguez. Here's reporter Alex Rodriguez with this week's segment of I Think. The I Think question of the week is, how has your college day and experience been? Well, so far, it started off pretty strong, I believe. Um, I, I first started off looking for girls, obviously, but with college came responsibility. Responsibility, I ended up getting a girlfriend. Now I'm just trying to focus on my studies. I'm trying to do what's right from what's wrong. I'm, you know, just having fun. It's okay. I don't really have time for boys right now. I'm focusing on school. And, yeah. And if you, how, how would you make time for boys? I would do study dates or homework nights or going to Starbucks and getting coffee, that type of thing. So stay close to campus while dating? Yes, for sure. You need to focus on school. 
get those A's. Well, my college dating experience so far has been, well, not good. I haven't really dated. Um, well, I'm not really looking for anybody, so it's mainly focusing on school right now. Mm -hmm. And I don't really have that much time because my schedule doesn't really allow it. So, yeah. And if you were dating, where would you go? Um, the park. Because it's, I mean, it's nice and it's good weather. This is Alex Rodriguez for the Collegian News. Here's Dennis Ortiz with this week's sports roundup. The UTB TSC defending national champion volleyball team beat two more quality opponents of the Division I. The volleyball team kept its handle on the number one ranking in the nation after defeating two NCAA Division I opponents, the University of Texas Pan American and Texas Southern University, on September 15th in the UTPA Fieldhouse. Men's soccer lost both games against Mobile and Bellhaven last week. The UTB TSC men's soccer team will continue its conference play Thursday and Saturday with games against University of the Southwest and Texas Wesleyan University. Both games will start at 1 p.m. on the UTB TSC soccer field. Women's soccer brought home two wins against Mississippi College and Belhaven University. They will host the University of Southwest Thursday and Texas Wesleyan University on Saturday. Both conference games will be played at 3 p.m. on the UTB TSC soccer field. That's it for the Collision News webcast. I'm Marlene Rodriguez. And I'm Corey Aiken. Have a great day.